The more things change, the more they stay the same. Today is the beginning of a beautiful love story. Sarah's big brother, I will never stop loving her, looking after her, and helping her when I can. But I now expect you to do all of those things on a daily basis, as I know you already have been. On behalf of our family, we are extremely proud and excited to welcome you. Everyone says that today is going to be the greatest day of your life. I completely disagree. It is the best day of your life so far, and you guys have many amazing days ahead of yourselves. So this is just the beginning. You are the south to my north and the west to my east, and I love you because we are opposites. You are the detail to my big picture and the sensitive understanding to my inflexible way of thinking. I love that you help bring me out of my routine. You expand my world and make it twice as beautiful as it was before I met you. I promise to love you even when I don't like you, and to remember that it's okay to fight sometimes. I will work every day to try and be better for myself, for you, and for us. I will learn from my mistakes and communicate with you openly. I promise to make the choice to love and respect you for as long as I live. Sometimes I will forget these things and I will need you to remind me. I am under no illusion that we will love each other perfectly every minute of every day, but we will love each other every minute of every day for the rest of our lives. I am so proud to be your wife. We have all the good things. I love you for so many reasons because you are self-confident and independent. You have a heart of gold and I want to help everyone in any way possible. I love your beautiful face and the way you smile at me. It can make even the worst days better. I love it when you laugh so hard you can't breathe. Most importantly, I love you for who you are. I promise to love you through all of our adventures. No matter where we travel and what we see, it's always better with you. I promise to always keep you safe, to always be there, to wipe your tears away, and I promise to always be faithful to you. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, and I promise to love you until we're old and gray. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I think every parent has an image of how they want their child to be. Shortly after Sarah was born, we went back to Indiana, moved there, and we were taking her to St. Ambrose for a baptism. And Lynn came out of the dressing room and there was this lacy rubber band thing with a bow on it stuck on Sarah's little round head. That was not the image that I had of my daughter. <laughs> so Lynn was kind enough to let me remove it. So I've kept this in a pretty special place because just because she couldn't wear it doesn't mean I couldn't keep it. So I want you to know this. I am so pleased with the man you've chosen to share your life with. And I am so proud of the profession that you've chosen. And if you had turned out like I imagined, you would only be half the woman I've seen you become. It is my great pleasure to pronounce that you are now husband and wife. Patrick, you may kiss your bride. Pleased to present you, Mr. Patrick Barney and Mrs. Sarah 